This is round two, Heat 16, Alejo Muniz, Luel Felipe, David Ducarmo, three Brazilians going up against Evan Geiselman. Four surfers enter, two surfers will advance through. And this was straight into it, Alejo Muniz. Alejo looking healthy. Quick snaps on a third little jab into the white water, a little foam finish. But this is him again, live. Up, out, oh, out. Quick up and down for Alejo Muniz. And then we go Luel Felipe. He's down. So the passionate one, David Ducarmo, started off the strongest in this heat. This was a 5-1-7 right off the buzzer. A couple open face snaps. He comes to the inside, throws it up over the top of the lip line for a little float. This is a look at Evan Geiselman, his first wave, just a point five. This will be much better than that. I feel like this, today's conditions, these waves. Yeah, it's tough, you know, Tanner's, I looked at him as one of the best guys in every event, so I definitely was taking it really serious, and I know he was too, and pretty much tried to stay in my own space. I was kind of like, we weren't really talking before, and even in the water at all, because... Some of those things that you've been working on, and do you work on them while you, you know, mid-competition? Yeah, um, every day. <laughs> I wake up, I'm like, what can I do today? Um, but seriously, you know, we, we really, it's a long year and, and it's, it takes a lot of energy and, and effort. And I've been working a lot on kind of mental things at home and, and as well physical and boards. My fevers have been feeling great. So, you know, it's kind of a little bit of uh, finding what makes you tick and then really excelling in those things. And He was looking good yesterday, just couldn't quite put it together in that last heat. A little replay right here. Nice open face slice right there. Alejo Muniz. Now watch his hands. He's got very unique kind of gestures that he does with his arms and hands. And I like it. It's well, different. It looks cool. Going the other and he swings it back. Watch. You'll see it notably right here. It swings up. Bam. Throws the arms down. Then everything follows. So he throws his arms down. The board follows. Throws up and, th and follows. So when he moves his upper torso, that's going to notify you of where that board's going to go and what's going to happen. There's a replay right here of our mind Geiselman down the line. Nice little layback hack in the bowl. Doesn't quite lay it out all the way, but comes out of it with some speed right there. A lot of times you'll see guys push really hard and kind of get the fins released off the end of those. But you can see him just staying over his board, making sure that he pulls off them. You really got to put your head down and paddle to get that part of strip. Here goes Muniz again. Big snapping turn, straight to the bottom, turn vertical into the lip. Rides it out, not super clean, but completed. Even the small, you can see even these smaller waves, he makes the surfing look really big. You can see a lot of movement, the wingspan, the swing, the pendulum. I think it's all part of it, and I really like it. Alejo, he really you know, has the ability, but Geiselman in surf like this is pretty unstoppable. Well, let's see. Bam. Commentator's curse. Great. Sorry, guys. Great job, Schreider. A bit of a lowers left where he could really just light it up. A little replay here. Gets the snap. So you see him come un like unweighted there, but it didn't. And it kind of stopped, and now it didn't work out for him. Luel Philippe, another veteran, the QS, cranks it off the bottom into the lip. This guy's a total powerhouse. Little mistimed on those last two maneuvers. Had a lot left to offer to get back out there. He's still sitting on the seven or on the six five, so still looking good. Alejo Muniz now just continuing the momentum push. A couple snaps down the line, real low center of gravity, coiling up into those turns. Right behind him, Evan now wants some revenge here. Quick sliding snap straight into a bottom turn. Goes down again. Unforced error at the end of that wave for Evan Geisman. Yeah, not looking up to par, Evan. Something going on there. We'll see him take off on this one. And, and you know, nice little opening snap. Gets back into it. Finds the power pocket. Looking for more down the line. A quick little tail drift. And then just a bizarre unforced error right there. Goes over the handlebars. To me, it looked like he was thinking error. And the section didn't appear. Alejo down the line looking for more. Quick hit. Another little one, and going for a fourth turn on that wave. 
And then this is Luell. Luell's a, one of those surfers that's just kind of a working man. He's laying bricks, you know. He, he's out there just hitting the, that long, doing the same exact surfing. Not too sure if it's going to give you the, an advantage, you know. But then one thing in his favor, he's always on the best waves. You know, wave selection is crucial. This wave right here, this is the gift that just keeps on giving. Big backside power hooks all the way to the beach. Stands up tall, letting the judges know I'm in control. This is a small inside wave, but it had that kind of corner on it for him, you know? And it gave him the opportunity to stay up into that hook. And in that turn right there, it, is, it wasn't crazy radical, but it was so quick in the transition. Fifth turn. And the, and the wave just, Sixth turn. Sixth. just kept on going down the line. Got to put the wheels back on. Luel Philippe again. This is what this guy does to you in heats. Hammers away. Another big backside snap. He's growing on me. I feel like he's going to take that position in second. Okay, he got these two waves back to back. Previous wave is going to go to a 6 4 7. Look at that, he got a 5 5. There you go, 5 5 improved. And here he is again. Luel Philippe on his backhand, bashing his way through the inside section. He's giving the judges no choice keeps hammering these waves and he's in this cycle just getting wave after wave after wave he's in second priority he's got to let david ducarmo go here goes david ducarmo off the bottom speed float getting around a big section up into the lip goes to the air the late decision to try the air and he goes down a little slip for geisman on the takeoff he's back in control Speeding down the line, goes for the big front side air reverse. There we go. That was a great moment. Seven, one, seven. Quick snap. This wave is so far on the inside, the other competitors didn't even look at it. And the judges went seven, one, seven right there. That was aquatic assault from Luel Philippe. I felt like it was a little overscored. 10 minutes, 30 seconds to go. Alejo Muniz in the lead. Luel Philippe in second. Here's a look at Evan Geisman. That was the first error. And then what happened here? Well, he, he's really looking down the line. He's got the perfect ramp. He goes for the rotation. And then he stops the rotation on the way down. He kind of hits his lip babe, on the board and, and kind of threw him off a little. But midway through it, you could see him kind of slowing down the rotation. I didn't, he was just caught between, a little indecision. Well, the well Philippe exercise is his priority. Saw Alejo Muniz real quick. Again, he's still sitting on a 6-5. Replay, Alejo. Winds it back into the power pocket, pushes water there. Nice little snap, then goes vertical for a finish. This is becoming a really good heat to watch. Go Alejo Muniz in the lead, Luel Felipe in second. Here's David DeCarmel trying to battle back into this heat. Nice little sweep right there. Bingo, up into the lip, going for the... Oh, just looking amazing, and here we go. Evan Geisman with priority. Starts off, slidey little cutback. Now you see him fading back, looking for the ramp, pumping down the line. Eyes the section, launches it into the wind and goes down again. And he has to watch the Terminator from the Wealth Elite. That was his first fall of this entire heat. Well, I'm sure Billy Kemper thought that earlier. Muniz, he has basically been cruising in first place throughout this entire heat. Just really nicely done. No mistakes. Great wave selection. Maneuver choice, everything was there for Alejo Muniz. Here's Alejo's last wave. Quick snap, comes around for another lip line, float, open face, hack. Another one, he's done. Alejo's just gonna take this thing to the beach, figure it out, he's over.
Eight seconds left. Any opportunity out the back for our surfers? Negative, Ghost Rider. This heat is over. Wow. Well, hand it over. Alejo Muniz. Cruising to victory, Luel Philippe. Ripping his way into second place. Unfortunately, we lose Evan Geisman and David Ducarmo. But that's the way the cookie crumbles here at the Hawaiian Pro. This is QS 10,000 action. Anything can happen.